Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot with Ray, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the firmware on your R2 Nano transmitter. Although Flashpoint is a rebrand of Godox, please keep in mind that this is for the Flashpoint R2 Nano, not the Godox. I'll have a video on that soon. This update will take less than 5 minutes of your time. You have to follow these specific steps in order for it to update correctly. This is a how-to video, so if you follow all of my steps, you should be good. All right, so we're going to take my R2 Nano and update it from 1.06 to the latest 1.14. First things first, visit the website on the screen using the exact address you see on the address bar. You can also click on the link in the description of this video. Once you're on that page, this is where you will download two files. One of them will be the Flashpoint installer software, and the second file will be the actual firmware update file. The first three options should be the Flashpoint installer. We're going to download the one labeled as F3, because as of right now, this is what the R2 nanos are running, F3. Download the installer compatible to your device. In my case, I'm using a Mac, so I'm downloading the F3 Mac OS software package. Once it's downloaded, install it to your computer. If you're a Mac user, you might encounter this error. If you do, simply open Finder and look for the direct file. Right click it and then click open, which should open it under administrator. Dismiss the warning boxes and continue opening the installer. Once open, go ahead and go back to the website and scroll all the way down to where you see the R2 nanos displayed. Select the one that matches your camera brand, Nikon, Sony, you know. For me, it's Sony. So I'm downloading the Sony option. Once downloaded, unzip it and it should open up a doc file and a lib file, LIB which will be zipped as well. Now what you're going to do is once the Flashpoint installer is open, you're going to tap select file. Locate that LIB file that we spoke about a few seconds ago. Once you do, it should be good to go. Now keep that there. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your R2 nano transmitter to the computer via a USB-C cable. Once you do, it should display as charging. That means it's connected. If not, go ahead and find another USB-C cable because that one's not working. Once you do that, turn it on. Once it's on, drag the top of the device to the bottom to pull out the menu. Tap on setting, scroll all the way down to device info, and you should see the name and model of your R2 Nano along with the current firmware followed by a button on the bottom that says update. If you don't see that button, you did it wrong, start over. If you do, tap that button. Then it should say upgrading with the arrows on top. So now go back to the software. By now, it should say device connected. On the Flashpoint installer, click the update button. This update should take no more than 30 to 60 seconds. Once the green bar is done, it will say success, device updated. So now tap exit. Go back to the R2 Nano, tap the power button once, if it did not shut off by itself, and then unplug the USB-C wire. Now turn it on again. Look at that. You guys updated your R2 transmitter. The first sign that it's updated is now that your group will have a custom color. For example, on your screen, group A has a red line under it. I mean, look at the menu. It has way more options and features now, which is definitely something I'm going to play around with now that I updated my R2 Nano. Guys, keep in mind, this was for my Sony R2 Nano transmitter, and this was done on a Mac. Therefore, there might be a few differences when it comes to Windows versus Mac, but I'm sure most of it will be the same. If you happen to have issues or you can't do it, you can call Flashpoint support and they can possibly help you. Better yet, if you live in New York City, you can bring your R2 Nano to them and they will happily update the device for you, as stated on their website. I know this firmware update is confusing, which is what prompted me to make a video on it, and I hope that this video helps update the firmware on your R2 Nano transmitter. As Adorama always says, create no matter what. So happy creating, and as I always say, thanks for watching.